China, thank you. Uh, major changes from the CDC this morning when it comes to their COVID guidelines for Americans. Yeah, so Maria Garcia here to tell us more about these guidelines. Hey, Maria. Hey, Brian, Liz, good morning. Yeah, these changes coming right as the school year is about to start. The agency easing restrictions. It announced that they are dropping their quarantine recommendation. If you do come into close contact with someone who's positive, whether or not you're vaccinated, they also say that you don't need to social distance six feet from others. Now, the CDC says this is because 95% of people in the U.S. 16 and older are either vaccinated or already had COVID or both. Because we are no longer recommending quarantine, we're no longer including a section on test to stay. As all our state has already updated requirements and guidance for COVID in grade school and for child care centers, students are no longer required to isolate after an exposure and they're ending the test to stay policy. This also includes the option to end cohort groups to minimize contact with too many people. The CDC says kids at schools or child care centers no longer need to isolate after being exposed to the virus either, no matter the vaccination status. But here is a recommendation that the state and federal government are not changing. If you do have COVID-19, whether you're vaccinated or not, you should stay at home and isolate while you're sick. The Washington Department of Health recommends taking five full days of isolation. Then you can go back to your normal life as long as you're asymptomatic. Back to you.